just the feeling of taking the plane off and putting it into flight is so exhilarating and then navigating it around the world and landing it to a safe uneventful landing is really quite a thrill. Ground United 1-1 request pushback gate 35. I think most pilots do have that urge to travel and see the world and that's one reason why we're in this business. I really do consider myself an explorer because I am so thrilled by so much of the world, by all the people and all the cultures that make this planet. I always enjoy coming home and I especially enjoy having PBS when I come home because PBS in essence brings the world back to me. I love to watch the travel shows and they will have segments about places that I've never been and it just piques my curiosity more to go see those places. And then if it's a place that I have been before, then it kind of brings back really fond memories. My greatest role model in aviation is Bessie Coleman because she was the first African American to fly. Her legacy alone really gave me a lot of inspiration to fly because I knew the barriers that she had, mine were nothing compared to hers, so there's no reason why I should not be able to succeed. I enjoy people being able to see me, and especially young women, and go, I never thought about becoming a pilot. This is something that I can do. You know, the thing about PBS is, like, I feel like they have a pulse on the world, you know, because they incorporate so many real-world, real-life experiences. PBS really brings the world home to you because you, you view other people and say, you know, they're really just kind of like me. If you're scared, you don't need to be doing it. Now, nervous? Yeah. I'll get so nervous, I gotta pee before I get on. But I'll hold it. <laughs> I, I lose my nerves if I pee, I don't know. kicks and you're like this, you might lose some grinners or something. That's, that's not cool. You can't pick up no women with no teeth. Yeah. More girls comes more drama. <laughs> girls make things pretty interesting. My ass hurts real bad. Never again am I braining myself. I am teaching about my roommate. She sucks. I didn't get put on the team. Haley's on the team. She told on me. I can ride bulls with the best of those boys, and I can ride bucking horses and stuff like that. But dressing up and being a lady. You know, it's just something that comes with the territory.
was fatal. He's earning it tonight. There's no room for excuses. There's no room for whining. You know, and there's no substitutions or timeouts. You're experiencing NGC Wild. In the animal kingdom, one family reigns. They're larger than life, agile, cunning, and powerful. The feared and revered jaguar, predator of the Amazon jungle. The fierce and fearless tiger, who faces an uncertain future in Asia. And the solitary mountain lion, legendary throughout the Western Hemisphere. They are big cats. In the Amazon jungle, the mysterious jaguar is rarely seen. But this covert cat takes its mission seriously. Like many stalking predators, the jaguar is an opportunist, and a mature deer is a great opportunity. Each delicate step gets him closer to his meal. But not this time. The jaguar, the biggest cat in the Americas, actually likes water. They have strong, muscular bodies and make good swimmers. Often found near the water's edge, the jaguar is a patient hunter and will spend the time required to catch its meal. Using its sharp claws, this jaguar is rewarded with an armored catfish. For the jaguar, there may be only one thing as challenging as finding food, and that's finding a mate. The jungle playing field is huge and the prospects far. This female jaguar uses its unique roar to call out to a potential mate. But the sound only carries a few hundred yards. Scent is another mating call. It defines her boundaries and also lets suitors know she is receptive. A male jaguar has found his way into her territory. They will mate up to a hundred times a day The pair will stay together for two or three days, but the male will be long gone when the cubs are born in three months. While the jaguar may be king of the Amazon jungle, in another part of the world, the throne of the big cat belongs to a feline adorned with different stripes. The tiger, the biggest cat in the world. Like the jaguar, the tiger seems to enjoy water. In tropical climates, they can frequently be found lying in water to cool down. Except for a mother and her cubs, tigers live alone. The average litter is two to three, and these two adolescents still live with their mother. They'll stay with her for about two years until they're ready to hunt on their own. Then they'll make their way into the jungle to carve out their own territory. A tiger may have to travel up to 20 miles a day to find food. Unlike most lions, the tiger hunts alone. After a kill, the tiger will drag the carcass to a secluded spot to eat its fill, sometimes up to 40 pounds in a single day. The smallest tiger on Earth is the Sumatran. As the name suggests, this tiger is found only on the Indonesian island of Sumatra, and it has the darkest coloring of any tiger. But predator has become prey. The Sumatran tiger is critically endangered, with some estimates putting less than 500 in the wild. 
poaching and habitat destruction threaten all the Asian tiger populations. But for now, the tiger remains the top cat of the East. If the tiger represents the East, it's the solitary mountain lion that represents the West. From Alaska to Argentina, from the East to the West Coast, the mountain lion roams. No other feline ranges so far in the Americas. It's a cat of many territories and titles. Known as cougar, puma, and even panther, these are elusive cats. Except when it's time to breed. Mountain lions give birth throughout the year. Females can have litters of up to six kittens, but the average is usually just two or three. The kittens will stay with their mother for about 18 months. This big cat can see in color and was designed to be an excellent hunter. They stalk, then pounce on their prey, delivering a neck-breaking bite. Their success has allowed them to thrive for thousands of years. But today, their numbers are threatened. The jaguar, the tiger, and the mountain lion. These three impressive predators are in jeopardy because of habitat destruction and hunting. But these breathtaking beauties are worth saving. Through conservation and education, there is hope for these big cats of the wild. There are more untamed experiences to be had. Explore more on demand or online now. NGC Wild, wild as you want to be. I'll Fly Away takes you behind the scenes. The show is centrally about change. Forrest is the kind of character that you hope to get to play for his complication, for his having a substantial and interesting center, um, for the fact that it's not that his life isn't simple for him, and that his and that the decisions and the things that he has to do aren't simple. So it's really. The part of it that would seem to be a challenge is actually the, the thing that makes it fascinating to do and interesting to do. We don't see. No, I was only sending it through for eyeline, but if you're not seeing the follower, we just see the truck go through. No. This whole shooting of this two hour has been like a, like a paid reunion. It's been wonderful. This whole crew, of which I guess about 80% of them are people that came back from when we were shooting the show on a regular basis, has become a big family and it. it there's really, uh, authentically, a lot of strong feeling. The thing that I think attracted this whole crew and, uh, and attracted these wonderful guest performers and stuff like that that we've had has been that the writing has been at a very high level, week after week after week after week. And that, you know, the great advantage of it showing on public television on a regular basis week after week at the same time is that you can watch the novel be played out from beginning to end but these shows stand alone too I think as uh, as really nice little mini dramas little short stories in their own, on their own you know I've been in this business for a long time and I've worked in public television off and on quite a quite a bit the stuff that I've done for public television has always been fun to do because it's it's the sort of thing that you don't often get an opportunity to do in, in other places. And 
both the writing and the and the quality of the shows has been, by and large, much more interesting than what you find on a daily basis in commercial stuff. One of the really great privileges of doing interesting stuff that has a powerful, essential core is that you find yourself immersed in this stuff. And to be working around this enormous subject, it's been very uh, enriching for all of us. I feel very much improved by this thing. As technology shrinks our world, the media landscape grows and bombards us with information. Yet, the flip of a switch or the flash of a screen often fail to touch the human spirit or the imagination. That's why, with even more choices, National Public Radio News has never been a more obvious choice. I'm Jean Cochran. I'm Lynn Wertheimer. Hello, Adam. I'm Corey Flinter. For National Public Radio News in Washington, I'm Neil Conan. For three decades, NPR News has transformed the way we understand the world with in-depth reporting, thoughtful analysis, and compelling commentary from some of the best correspondents living and working around the world. From Israel to India, Colombia to the Congo, NPR News reaches around the globe and right next door to define radio and news reporting at its best. Despite Gephardt's opposition, the ones that makes its A recent winner of the Overseas Democrat. Press Club Lowell Thomas Award, NPR News is the one distinct voice Americans trust and count on every day. The former commander of U.S. Army operations against... Where would listeners be without Morning Edition and Bob Edwards, their wake-up call to what's made news overnight? Carl Castle and a team of widely respected journalists provide a deeper understanding of the issues of the day. 20 years strong and fresh from winning the Peabody Institutional Award, Morning Edition with Bob Edwards offers a breadth of knowledge and depth of experience that is a greatly anticipated morning ritual. Bob's time check, then the break on four. This is NPR's All Things Considered. I'm Lynn Wertheimer. I don't know Adams. And it's Next year, All Things Considered celebrates three decades as a leader and innovator in broadcast journalism. With hosts Robert Siegel, Linda Wertheimer, and Noah Adams, all Things Considered is incisive and insightful. It embraces the details for a more thought-provoking experience of the day's news. All Things Considered is recognized as the most comprehensive news show on any radio dial. From Washburn High School in Minneapolis, Minnesota, this is Talk of the Nation. I'm Ron Williams. And shining light on the news and the people who make it, Talk of the Nation hands over the microphone to its listeners. Right here. I'm wondering why things like the alcohol, the drugs, the promiscuity have been sensationalized to make us look so horrible. That's a great question. Journalist Juan Williams leads a productive exchange of ideas and opinions on the issues it's Americans are talking about. Which generation is actually dying the most of substance abuse? As our nation dramatically transforms itself, NBR News is there to witness those changes and bring you the stories that reflect them. The Changing Face of America is an absorbing look at who we are and where we're going as a nation. Part of the NBR News tapestry, this special series provides a voice for our changing society as we tackle our newest challenges. You're on the air, go ahead please. Other NBR talk shows like Fresh Air with Terry Gross, The Diane Reem Show, Public Interest with Kojo Namdi, and The Todd Munch Show feature the art of conversation and nurture the exchange of ideas. NBR member stations bring an element of unparalleled community and regional reporting to the overall mix. In recent years, NBR News has expanded its reach onto the internet with hourly newscasts, news features, commentaries. Also, live events to internet users through original online reports, audio streaming, and other multimedia elements. At a time when we may feel a bit alienated from the news, too vulnerable to technology, NBR News is breaking through, connecting the human voice to the human condition. National Public Radio, the single place to deliberate, contemplate, appreciate. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Castle.
it on a hot tin roof. 